Hi, my name is Francis Henry Fulton. I was born in Birmingham, England on February 16th in 1822. When I was young, I never really liked the conventional teaching methods, and when I went to university, I studied medicine because it was the path my parents chose for me. However, after two years of studying medicine, I changed my mind and decided to study mathematics instead. My father died when I was 22 years old in 1844, leaving me with a large inheritance. Using this, I traveled the world and went on trips to the Middle East and Africa, to places including Egypt, the Nile River, the Sudan, and Southern Africa. I was so passionate about travel that I actually wrote several books on it, one of which was titled Tropical South Africa. My cousin was Charles Darwin, the man you see in the picture, and I found his research and discoveries on evolution very interesting. As a result of my interest in this area, I did some research into the implications of the theory of evolution he came up with, focusing mostly on human intelligence and selective mating in humans to obtain desired traits. I came up with some of my own theories on inherited traits and conducted a few genetic studies. Some of the data that I collected in my genetic studies were fingerprints. I thought that they might somehow be a part of the genetic puzzle of humans and could reveal some information as to the differences between people such as race, gender, and intelligence, but I never actually made any discoveries in this area. I did, however, realize through this collection of data that fingerprints stayed the same throughout the duration of a person's life. I came up with the characteristics of fingerprints still used today that are based on grouping patterns of arches, whorls, and loops. I was not the first person to come up with the idea of using fingerprints for identification, but I was the first person who based the studies I did off of scientific evidence, which made it possible for fingerprints to later be used in criminal cases. I published three books on fingerprints, which were used as the basis for Sir Edward R. Henry's classifications. The Galton Henry System of Fingerprint Classification, named after myself and Sir Edward R. Henry, was published in June of 1900 and was first used at, in 1901 at Scotland Yard to help identify criminals on their criminal records. Since then, it has been used worldwide. Although my research and discoveries about fingerprints were certainly my most important contributions to forensic science, I also made important contributions to the areas of meteorology and exploration. I received many different awards and titles throughout my life, including being knighted by King Edward in 1909. My autobiography was published in 1908, and I died three years later on January 17th at the age of 88.